Hey y'all, how's it going? It's uh, the day today is uh, Friday. That's right, it's time for uh, Friday evening viewer levels as I as I do and as I have done for uh, quite some time. Have you ever played Super Mario Land 2? Asked Joe. By the way, thank you for the level. Uh, yes, I actually played that, uh, came out on, on Nintendo Switch Online, uh, recently, and, you know, when it, when it, now that it is on Game Boy Online, I have played through all of it, so yes. It's, uh, quite an interesting game insofar as, like, every level is unique assets, as you, like, you need art, unique art, which is, uh, very unusual for, a for a platformer. I just realized it's really hot in this apartment. Um, I'm a little tired. I didn't. Uh, I was up late doing the, the the Persona stream yesterday. We got to some really exciting parts of that game, and uh, well, I really wanted to just see the next part, get to the next thing, and uh, you know, we went really late and kind of tired as a result. Level you put in as a recreation of of Wario's Castle. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go turn down the AC and then we'll we'll talk about stuff. One one sec. I say turn turn down the heat, turn up the AC. You know what I mean. One second here. Yeah, it had gotten, it had gotten really hot without me noticing until literally I uh, hit the buttons to go live. And I guess sometimes you just don't think about uh, what temperature it is until you're literally hitting the buttons and going like, Wait, it's fucking hot in here, what the fuck? I wanted a little bit of heat earlier, but I didn't want, you know... The thing is, at least, I don't know, maybe it's just an apartment thing, but if you set it to heat, if you set it to hot, even if you say, like, I want it to be 72 degrees, it'll be like, all right, chief, you got it, hot it is. And, you know, uh, two hours later, you're going to be, like, in, the, in, like, the high 70s. You're going to be, like, 77 degrees. And it's like, well, you said, make it hot. You said make it 72, and we got there, and then we went a little bit extra, a little bit farther. So, you know, you gotta be on top of that. You gotta hit, you gotta say, like, uh, yeah, yeah, turn off the heat as soon as it gets, gets to a nice level and just, you know, rein it in. And, uh, I had neglected that a little bit. How's everyone doing? Uh, hey, Highway. Let me say some stuff up top, show off some things, and then I'll show off the level. Which uh, hasn't changed that much since Sunday's impromptu stream, but if you didn't see that stream, I'll, I'll tell you, like, the boss fight... Since last Friday, the boss fight has become an actual boss fight, and it's basically completed now. Level I submit, you might not be able to get to it first, but it's designed in a very logical way. Okay, it's, it's cool then. We'll, we'll, we'll see it. We'll see it when we get to it, Highway. Let me do a quick few kick parts at the, at the stop. My sleep schedule is still a bit off. I've mentioned before that uh, my sleep schedule has been a little screwy lately. And I think part of the problem is, with 8 p.m. streams, uh, instead of just like, because I want to go from 8 p.m. to like sometime later, uh, if I want to do those streams, oftentimes I'm finding myself like, deciding to do a little nap, a little like half sleep before the stream, and then going into the stream and then going like really fucking late. As a result, and I think, I think like uh, in the future, it might be better to do the opposite. It might be better to just make the stream earlier if I'm worried about like being able to go the distance. If I'm worried about like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be really, if I start the stream at eight, I don't know if I'm really gonna be, uh, you know, tired out of my mind by like nine or so. But if I start at six, we can at least get like three hours in to a stream before I'm like uh, tapped. And I think then 
I, I think that's how we're gonna do Monday if you know this this happens again if 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 the case is you know if I'm really tired and feeling like I need a nap to to get through a long night stream because what you don't want is to have that nap and that to be your sleep you know for the whole night because it's like okay well yeah I slept from uh, 5 p.m. to to 8 let's say and it's like oh that's like three hours but I don't know that's enough my plan is I'm I want to push it out I want to push it out I want to I want to dream while I'm awake I want to push out just to get so that I'm going to sleep at like midnight and you know soon enough after I do that I'm sure my sleep schedule will be more uniform and I'll get to the point where I'm staying up at normal times again and I hope you know once we get back to normal I guess I, I'll try my best not to let it slip again I guess key to that is I'll try to do like more regular length streams and not go super super into the night I will say you know probably something that will help is that uh, Persona 5 I'm near the end on that so uh, you know won't have to like I, I've been kind of pushing myself to just try to get I, I've been playing a lot of that game and um, you know every stream I feel like I want to do things I want to get things done I want to get a dungeon done I want to get to a new dungeon I want to get through all the cutscenes etc etc and as a result it can go really long those streams and uh, you know, hopefully in the future we'll pick out uh, games to stream that don't have that problem so much uh, a couple more cards on the topic of Persona. Might do a finale stream when we are got we got to the point where we're basically at the end. And I'll tell you right now, we're basically in the last stretch. We're in the new content in Persona 5 Royale, the third semester. Just got to the point where it says mission start for the last time uh, last night, and uh, you know there's gonna be I think one big mementos trip on Monday there's gonna be probably one big dungeon trip on Thursday and I think maybe after that we'll be in like you know calling card uh, fi final final steel heart final calling card steel heart uh, big cutscene ending finisher mode and maybe We'll do like an all day Sunday stream the following Sunday and, uh, you know, knock it out over the course of a Sunday morning, a Sunday daytime stream. And uh, I'll tell you after that, we'll probably take Monday off, but I, I would think that, uh, you know, the following Tuesday, maybe we'll do some, some, uh, you know, some, some Tuesday night making maybe on, uh, the following Thursday. We'll roll out uh, the Pikmin, the Pikmin playthrough that'll be happening. It'll be a playthrough of Pikmin 1, 2, and 3. So, you know, some stuff coming along. I'm looking forward to that. I I'm really loving the end of Persona 5 Royale, but also, you know, I'll admit that, uh, you know, maybe there are better games to stream than 150 hours of, of a game that is very, very, very plot heavy and writing heavy, you know, maybe that's not the easiest to follow for the folks at home, unless you're, uh, you know, you played it yourself, I suppose. Or maybe, you know, hey, maybe there's people watching all 100 hours of it over on YouTube where the VODs live, I don't know. That's, you know, that's an option as well. But yeah, it's been a long, Three months, three months since I started Persona 5 Royale. Huh, I, I do not intend to start any 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 new playthrough that, uh, you know, takes that long to get through a single game. Ideally, a playthrough should last, you know, one month or two. And uh, ideally, I shouldn't have to do it twice a week as well with very long streams. I love Persona 5 Royale, but I'll admit, maybe not the perfect stream game. 
for a lot of reasons. The main one being time commitments, uh, amount of time you find yourself just like going, okay, well, I'll play for another, let's keep going, even though it's 3 a.m., because these cutscenes aren't over yet, damn it. We gotta see to the end of this. We gotta see it through. <laughs> the, you know, that's not exactly ideal. Also, I mentioned uh, yesterday, got new glasses. They're the same as the old glasses. The prescription's a little different, so, you know, I'll tell you the first time I put them on, everything was a little weirdly swimmy for a minute. You know, just looking around being like, oh, sh God, it's really disorienting. But, you know, it's been a couple days since then, and uh, I feel perfectly good now. You know, it's, it's a little less... It's, it feels a little more firm, you know, a little bit more... It feels normal now. I guess I've gotten used to it and shit. Um, I'm curious, like, uh, if I'll have any issues. Well, I, I, I think these are fine, you know, I, I haven't... I'm not sure, like, if I can compare one to one. They seem about as good as the previous pair. But I will say, you know, the monitor is like six feet away. And, and the text is just a little bit, just a little bit muddy to me. But that might just be aging eyes, not necessarily uh, any trouble with the glasses. Also, by the way, these are Warby Parkers, and I realized during yesterday's stream, uh, a, a new character in Persona 5 Royale, Baruki, has glasses that are suspiciously similar to my glasses, in that they have, like, the same white line that goes across the 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 outside along the sides of like the uh glasses which are kind of stylish now honestly i bet that warby parker didn't invent that but it is funny to me to imagine that uh maruki wears warby parkers that uh that that actually makes sense for maruki though i guess you know they probably don't have them in japan whatever technicality don't worry about it. Anyway, let me show you, before we get into the viewer levels, let me show you what's going on with, uh, with, um, Nerdu Nebula. It's the 35th level in my super world, the final level of, of, uh, world, f world seven. And the basic way I'm picturing this is that it is the, um, the first K. Rule fight in like a Donkey Kong Country game. You know, like in Donkey Kong Country 2, you got the K. Rule at the end of any percent, and you got the K. Rule in the Lost World. This is the K. Rule at the end of the Last World. You know, and actually the Last World in the Super World, the Eighth World, is called a Bonus Biome, so it is quite literally a bonus world, so, you know, I think that's fun. Also, I suppose one detail that I've haven't really mentioned I haven't really like mentioned was a conscious consideration here is that uh, I I've, I've mentioned before that the that the world here the super world world 7 right it's sort of structured such that you can um, you can pick and choose you don't have to do all these levels you can only have to do one you know cold ice comet Meteor Meltdown, or... Wrong one. It should be this one now. The actual release level. Uh... Abyssal Asteroid. But basically, you have your choice of them after the first one, and then your choice of the middle three, and then the final one. And my thought there was, uh, you know, pretty directly thinking about DKC2, which only has, like, the last world only has one level and then K rule. Now this has two levels that you have to do and there's also, you know, a normal amount of them all told, you know, that are optional. But uh you know, like DKC2, if you want to get right down to business and face off against Bowser, you can. Let me show you what the boss fight looks like now. And uh you know, a lot of this by the way, if you're curious, came around came along like Sunday and uh, on Sunday day as, as Sunday morning as this was coming together I was like oh shit this is this is this is feeling pretty good by the way this first section was was together mostly uh, last week 
there are a couple little changes and tweaks and shit, but uh, we'll get to those, to those later. Anyway, the level was coming together at such a rate where I had a version of the level that was um, complete, the boss fight was complete, but it was really fucking hard, so I wanted to see if I could beat it, and uh, you know, sure enough, you know, you can check the VOD on uh, YouTube or on Twitch. You know, obviously, Twitch still has the VOD as well. But uh, I was ultimately able to beat it, and um, and then after that, we did some revisions, and uh, we did some revisions and. Um, started making it a little bit easier and a little bit more manageable. Because, you know, even me, who built it, it took me like, uh, 20, like, like, 20 minutes to actually, to actually, like, get a good run in and beat Bowser's ass. And, uh, well, if, if you remember the Sunday stream, this might look a touch easier in a couple of, couple of minor ways. Because, yeah, I have I have made further adjustments, and I'll talk to them after I just, you know, play through it and let the boss fight speak for itself, you know? Basically, I say speak for yourself, but then I'm gonna explain what's happening on the screen. You go left and right, you hit Koopa shells. You, you, you have, you can only get two Koopa shells per lap. So, you gotta be somewhat careful and somewhat cautious. Cool boss fight. Yeah, I, I will say it's a little bit hard, but, uh, you know, I think that is fair. I changed... You know what, now that I've... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this on the second try. I'm gonna do one more try. Originally, and you can, you can check the Sunday stream to see what that looked like. Originally, the first version, you got a big shell and a little shell. And, uh, of course, a little shell does less damage than a big shell, so... The boss fight took longer, as a result. And now you have two big shells instead. I said I was gonna do it in, in, in... In one try. In just one more try, but... One, one more try. Don't worry, I got this. I'm gonna have to clear this, uh, three times, considering. God damn it. And I added a power up to. I, I, I feel like I. I don't know if I should go out of order and explain the changes now while I'm playing, but. Why not? You know what? We got time as I'm going. Um, so one thing about it, you can see here, Bowser is... There's a Bowser who can spawn here. Um, as you play it normally, this Bowser is prevented from spawning. So he only spawns when you come off a checkpoint. Meanwhile, there's also this Bowser here, which is prevented from spawning by this uh, red block. Now this, this Bowser has a very specific purpose. This is the thumbnail Bowser. This Bowser goes in the thumbnail. That's it doesn't actually ever see uh, any action, this Bowser. Let me beat this this guy. I changed up this section to make it a little bit more simple with the, the dry bones. Felt like there was too many jumps here. Um, added a mushroom here to make it just a little bit more nicer, but I will say the mushroom is a little bit tough to avoid, which adds a little bit of a little bit of skill, I guess, to the proceedings. You know, you have to avoid the mushrooms just as well as, just as much as, like, uh, avoiding Bowser. Fuck me. You might notice that the, if you compare to the, to, to Sunday stream, you might notice that the, these platform is now four instead of five. Well, it turns out if the platform goes right to here, it can uh, kill Bowser if he happens to be overlapping it while he's, like, jumping for some reason. Cool, okay. One last change. Uh, I moved the door down here. This means that uh, if you're 
if you're like going in the door, you're less likely to be uh, hit by the shell on the way in. You know, if there's an extra shell, for instance. Also, I removed the invisible block so you can just jump out. You can just jump up if you fuck up. And there are some, uh, these piranha plants, they keep the heartbeat music alive, even if you were to come out of there. And, uh, let me, let me go over some other minor changes just real fast before we leave here. Since, since the Sunday stream. Again, a lot of these changes were made during that. Uh, modified these vines, made this, this, this long platform longer. Originally it was three, now it's five. Um, let's see, change this whole portion here. Um, added a gap here, so it's easier to go under Bowser if he's like over here or something, because this is kind of a hard Bowser to jump. It's kind of hard to jump over Bowser if he's over here, so put this hole so that you have the option to go under. Um, I realized that if you had to use the alternate exit here, which the intent is if Bowser's like right up near the door, you can jump over him using the higher exit. I realized that these boo wheels were kind of in the way, so I put some vines to sort of serve as a, as a, uh, as a like, uh, way to go across it rather than jumping from here, like over, because you know, you hit the ghost in those cases, in that case. Uh, other than that, I think it's all pretty much the same. I'm not sure if this was the case on like Monday, but originally the hole, the hole was originally down here. I moved it up here at the time of like, I think it was last Friday stream. It was up here. Then I moved it down here. By the way, I love bean or burn. I love burn. New glasses. Getting, getting, getting used to them. I love Ben. Bem. That's how, that's, that's an M. How you doing? Thank you for the level. Uh, anyway, I think that about sums up what I had to say about this level. I think right now, as is, the boss fight is basically good to go. Oh, uh, also, by the way, you can tell that underneath the boss fight is the final section, which has a very dangerous 50 coin. Like, I'll just show that again. Like, you gotta be kind of fast on your feet to get it. And oh boy, I think it feels uh, pretty fun to just like, you know, skirt the lava that way. It's a fun thing to do if you have the, the gumption. Anyway, with this level, I just need to now do the first half, which the, fir the first segment, I should say, which is going to be a um, sort of traditional half level wherein these uh, Koopalings are going to be embedded into the level like this, such that when you hit them, they pop out and they hit the scenery, you know, they realize like, oh, I can't actually be here. I'm overlapping scenery. So they end up dying as a result immediately. I think it is fun to have enemies that uh, you can take out in one hit. I have to figure out how they're gonna be made dangerous without being made into too much of a level, but also, you know, I do have a lot of stuff that's in that boss fight that I can use for reference, right? Like, on-off blocks should probably have some minor part in this level. Um, vines, tires, uh, boo wheels, and maybe some uh, dry bones on rails. That about sums up what is in the boss fight. And thus, what should probably also be the thing. They die in one hit while they're on tracks. No, that's not true. I do believe it's... They... No, it's, it's totally the overlapping with scenery. And actually, you can do this with other things as well. Like, if you... Um, for instance, if you do it with a large Goomba. If you do this with a large Goomba, you'll see the same effect. Now, um... In fact, if you're looking for instantly killable enemies in Mario World, this is a great way to do that. Like, check this out. Ba-bam. Ba-bam. 
That actually felt weird because there's a block. There's a thing over him, over his head. I've used that like, uh, used that before in like, I think I, I figured that out in Super Mario Maker 1, actually. There was a level with, with Goombas used in that way back in that game. And also, of course, I do have, uh, I did have to and fro factory, the the level at the end of world three of my super world, which also used uh, Koopalings embedded into the floor, but in a different way. Anyway, that's what's up with that. Uh, I'll, I don't know when the first half's gonna become a level, but you know, obviously it's a shorter, it's not gonna be as long as a normal level. So maybe it'll be pretty quick to come together. I don't know. I'll work on that when I'm when I have time and I'm not super tired and I'm not busy with other things. So you know who fucking knows, right? Uh, let's get to these uh, these levels that y'all have uh, submitted. Thank y'all for getting them in. Um, let me tell you how you, we do things here. Joe is up first. If you're here when your level is up, we give it the full time of day, which outside of the lightning round means 15 minutes plus five last tries if that's not enough. If you're not here, we still play the level, but we do it in very nearly but not quite sudden death. We only have two tries to beat the level, refreshing a checkpoint. That's how we do things. Nice little compromise between playing more levels and uh, valuing the people who are ready to go when their level is. And also, by the way, if, if you see me start your level in sudden death, if you just say like, hey, hey, I'm here, you get upgraded to the normal. Don't you worry about it. It's not a big deal. So long as I haven't like, uh, you know, died. What did I do? Looks like I typed it correctly. 7MH. Um, Joe, could you check the, the code real fast? I'm checking it myself and, and, and it looks like I typed it in right. It looks like to me, there must be something wrong with your code. Maybe you copied one that you deleted. Let me uh, do a card. I have these, 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 uh, cards that I have with things on them that I want to talk about. It's Y, it's W Y B, not Y W B. You're bad. Okay, good. Okay, we'll fix that. Did you hear about Fox in Space episode two? That is a uh, web animation that's pretty cool that uh, came out a couple of years ago. The first one is anyway. It was like 10, 20 minutes long or so, and it was really cool. Like. It was like if, if like, Adult Swim made a uh, Star Fox cartoon, you know? Sort of reminded me a bit of, uh, a bit of, like, like Harvey Birdman adjacent, uh, a fox in space. Oh, let me do the 15 minutes, by the way. Kind of reminded me of, like, Harvey Birdman. With, like, you know, some, some, like, a lot of humor, a lot of stuff that, like, makes the basic world of, like, Star Fox into something that's very much, uh, very, like, alive and, like, uh, detailed and shit. Hello, Yukon, how you doing? Anyway, after years of no idea when that was gonna happen, there's, like, an episode, uh, I am, I am treating this way too clearlessly. There's a second episode of a fox, God damn it. A, a fox in space. And I'm really happy to see it. Apparently that's, I think, what is it like the 26th? So shit, that might be Sunday. That might be this Sunday. Apparently it's like 40 minutes long. Pretty hyped about that. I say hyped, pretty excited about that. I feel like hyped is maybe a little bit passe, you know. A little bit done as a word. Anyway, looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Sure, that's gonna be a very good sh sh uh, animation. 
I was about to say short, but it's longer than it's longer than many epi many episodes of anime. I'm sure, that's gonna be a good. It's not a one-off because it's episode two. I'm sure that's gonna be a good installment of uh, that series. And you know, whenever the third episode, whatever. The Fox in Space. Okay, cool. I gotta duck on the thing. Anyway, long. All, all that to say, really looking forward to that. I'm gonna watch it. Uh, Y'all should probably too. If you like Star Fox, and even if you don't, it's Star Lampoon's Star Fox. It makes it a little bit more, uh, you know, ridiculous. A little bit more uh, silly. You know, there's a scene where, you know, a guy is asking Star Fox if he has, uh, if he has robot legs. And, uh, Star Fox get ma gets mad because he says, he, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you the jokes in us Fox in Space. The guy, the mercenary says like, hey Star Fox, and, and Fox says, no, my name isn't Star Fox, my name is Fox. My team is Star Fox. And he gets really fussy about it, and it's kind of funny. Y'all should check it out. It's, it's like, it's like a Adult Swim adjacent, but, but made out of the concepts of, of Star Fox, the world of Star Fox. We're, get, we're, we're making some pretty good progress here. After we got through that first room or whatever, it's all come through very, very easily. I suppose also just having power-ups, um, and, you know, multiple. A higher tier power-up helps a lot. See what we got through here. That's oh, gonna be. This is maybe a little bit trivial. <laughs> is that is that Wario? No, I guess. Right, that's right. Wario is like a three-phase boss fight. Like I said, I just played this game. I just played it for the first time. Um on Nintendo Switch when it came out on Game Boy Online. And I'll say I did use save states. I say say I did rewind uh, extensively during it. So, you know, I, I got hit. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna rewind. Whatever. Doesn't bother me none. And, you know, it's plenty fun even if you're rewinding a bit. If the game has a rewind, if the service has a rewind, you might as well use it. That's how I figure. Thank you for the level, Joe. That worked quite well. The hardest parts were up front, but, you know, that might be true of the original Wario Land uh, 2 as, or, or Mario Land 2 as well. Get that timer down. Let's get the next level up. You submitted another level first. Okay, cool, Highway. Look, man, I'm I'm a little bit tired. I I I I I might not have the best of memory right now. You give me advice, I might entirely forget it, like five minutes later, let alone ten minutes later. You know. So, I'll uh, here's my recommendation. You give me the advice when I need it. Soon as it looks like I need the advice, you give it to me. That's the best strategy for me to actually like, oh shit, I should do a thing. Just a little bit tired. I, my eyes are like all droopy and, and shit and they're like, uh, you know, it, it's, I'm not to the point where, you know, when you're tired and you're just like, nodding off and to go like, oh shit, I just realized I'm doing something, I'm watching something. And I just realized that I started dreaming a version of it that isn't the real version. Oh fuck, what's going on? You know, you know how it is when you sort of like, you're sort of nodding off and like, your, your brain starts making up a version of the show that isn't the actual show. I'm not there yet. I'm not nodding off. But my eyes are telling me like, 
Man, you gotta stop. You gotta close me for a bit. You gotta, like... You gotta, like, go to bed, man. Like I said, I didn't get all that much sleep yesterday, but I did get some sleep before yesterday's stream as well, so... Add it up, it is, like, probably, like, six hours of sleep. But still, that's not really enough, is it? And it's better if it's in one big chunk rather than two smaller chunks. Hell is freezing over. Let's find out what's what. And also, we'll probably do a card in the, the middle of this. You know, as soon as we start hitting like... It, it's, let, let's assume that we hit some sort of like a bottleneck here, let's say. We had some sort of issue where uh, we don't know what we're doing. Oh, we're destroying things. Nice. We can go up here. We can switch this on off. Oh, there's no point to that. That was, uh, that can't be it. No, that's, that's definitely not it. Uh, by the way, do we have a clear condition? No, we do not. Cool. But we probably need to get all the red coins. Oh, so there's a split in the path. There are mushrooms here, but we don't have a clear condition, so... They are strictly optional. Don't need them. We might need some sort of power or something to... Get us into like uh, one of these pipes, th these pipes that are above the ground. I don't know what's going on here. Why is this room here? I don't get it. Don't get what's up with this room, but. Maybe it's just for the bonus, the bonus, uh, mushrooms, the one-ups. We're at the start of the level, but now an on-off has toggled. That's going to open some hats for us. Cool. Good. I need to watch out for these. Couple levels in the queue. Fuck. Couple levels in the queue ahead of you, Flame 69X. Let me do another card. Thinking about going to see John Wick 3. I just realized uh, today that John Wick 3 was uh, coming out today, in fact. Came out today. I really liked seeing the other two. I mean, the other three. Jeez. What, like I said, tired. Can't count. Can't count when I'm tired. Counting is hard when tired. Anyway, I like the other, the the previous three movies. Um, I don't think I've seen the third one multiple times, but whatever, man. I think it'd be fun to go see the fourth one. And uh, I'll say I I I, have, I don't think my parents have seen John Wick. Uh, they haven't seen the last one, John Wick Three. I think it might be fun to make them watch John Wick 3. I've been I've been telling them for weeks, like, oh hey, we John Wick's was we like John Wick. And you know, it's true, he my 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 parents did like John Wick. But they said they think they seen the third one. But I said, uh no, you haven't seen the third one, I don't think. But you know, they're also similar, I guess. They're not wrong insofar as like, yeah, there's Nothing they haven't seen in John Wick 3 that wasn't in John Wick's 2, 1, or 2. That said, it would probably be a fun movie to watch, so, you know. I thought right now, try to watch, try to get my folks to watch John Wick 2 next time I hang out with them, or John Wick 3, jeez. Then maybe I'll go see the movie. Make sure you get the red coin before the on-off. What red coin? Is there a red coin I'm not seeing? Eh. Yeah. 
I'll make sure that there's not like a red coin under hiding under the... Can you put red coins under on-offs? Not sure how that works. Maybe you'd have to like make a hole for them. There's nothing over here besides uh... Besides um, some one-ups, so... Go over here. Highway is saying that we'll have to get some uh, red coins. I suppose you mean this one. This red coin. Eeks! Well, that was a hell of a dodge right there. Alright. It's coming up. Cool. Oh, we probably need to go down. That's what you're talking about. There's a red coin right here. It's on a... Fuck. It's off the beating path, so it's hard to get. How about another card as we go through that again? Thinking about finishing a ton of sh a shit ton of seasonal anime this weekend. Yeah, I say I'm thinking about it. I'm, I mean to say I will. I'm thinking about it in terms of like, oh geez, that's a lot of anime to finish in one go. Whenever I finish a anime, I like to write up a letterbox style review and put it like in the, in the like, uh, I put it into the description, the like notes text of AnnieList.com's uh, anime list feature thing. And uh, as a result, it takes a while for me to write. And I, I liked it to be a good review that like captures the uniqueness of the show and what's good about it and what's bad about it. So it takes a bit to like square up all my thoughts and to like put together a, a, a well-written uh, considered review. As a result, you know, um, finishing the shows adds a bunch of co time commitment to like the act of watching anime you know it's not just it's not just like oh I sit down and I watch the show it's like no I sit down and watch the show and then it's time to get critical it's time to turn on the critical brain and uh, you know put a number on it as well as a paragraph of text but you know hey that's the end of the season oh there's a checkpoint that's nice after I get the red coins Daisy. Is the coins a critical path or is that the... Okay, so there's... You can't go down there until the on-off is off. So this cannot be... Critical. Oh, no. Fucking hell! Anyway... I'm sort of looking forward to that, but also... You know... I know it's gonna be a lot to... 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 to. But also, also, you know, once... Once these shows are done, I'll be freed of... You know, I won't have much to watch for a while, and that'll help me... You know, catch up on my backlog do things that I've gotten behind on and uh, you know when the new season starts I'm sure I'll be happy to load my plate up with a bunch of new animes as I tend to do clouds correspond to fireballs that's good advice how about another card I got like I loads of them I started to Chia I mentioned to Chia uh, last stream uh, I will say, I'm not sure I really love it, unfortunately. Yeah, I sort of got into it and found it to be really slow paced as far as the start goes. It takes a while to get into the open world, and there's a lot of like, uh, of like weird mini games to do before you get into the open world. And all these mini games, they're like, like, tradi they're like traditional. New Caledonian uh, activities, you know, which is, which is cool, you know. Hey, that's cool that they made a game about their society, their culture, whatever. 
at the same time, some of these mini games are, are maybe the equivalent of uh, rolling a a. Jesus, the ice kind of makes it hard to. Fuck! That was on me. Kind of the equivalent of like rolling a, a hoop with a stick. You know what I mean? It's just like, okay, so this mini game is, uh, it's like a guy is singing and the girl is, uh, your, your character. She is rhythmically hitting a, uh, rubbing some, some leaves together. Rubbing leaves together. And that is, I, I guess like a traditional folk music thing, uh, which is fine. It's just like. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't need to be serenaded at the start of this open world game. You know, you, you know, one of the comparisons I saw going into the game, into Tachia, was that it was very much like Breath of the Wild. Well, I'll tell you what, Breath of the Wild, the king of, of red lions, that motherfucker, you know, the king of Hyrule. Spoilers for Wind Waker. But, you know, it's the same guy, basically. The king does not serenade you with a song for like 10 minutes before you get into the actual open world. In, in, in Breath of the Wild, you start the game, you leave your, your spawn, there you are, there's the open world. That's it. That's all. Can't go wrong, you know, with simple. Simple setup. Know what I mean? Anyway, maybe I'll play more of it. I I've gotten to the open world. I will say it kind of feels now a little bit aimless. Feels a little bit aimless now in the open world. Feel like I'm just walking places and occasionally getting some sort of silly item and uh, using it for some sort of quest that does some sort of something. And just being like very nonplussed. I understand there is apparently some action in there. You can actually fight some guys. I don't know if that actually helps. Like I feel like this game, things it needs are not action. Action is not the missing. I, I would say that action is not the missing ingredient here. That's nah, it's lacking something else. But. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm not quite sure what it would be, you know. Intensity? Um, if game feel? I don't know, man. I feel like we're pretty close here to the end of the... Uh, segment, you know? Wait, we, we missed one. We missed the... Uh, one of the red coins. That one up there, so... Wait, how in the fuck? Ah, okay, there's a... Uh, on off block there. I like the routing here. God. Damn it. Another card. Been re-listening, re-reading Dresden Files. I've been reading Skin Game. I'll tell you, my pace has slowed down a little bit. I've, uh... I got a key, and then I got barbecued. That's right. Skin Game is one of the latest books that he's written. You know, like, uh... It was... It was... I say latest. It was a couple of years ago. Like, maybe five, six years ago, but... It is the third latest of the Dresden File series. And, uh... You know, as a result, there's not much long, much longer, much more for me to get to, so I've been kind of taking my time a little bit. You know, previously, I might have averaged like a book every three or four days, 
But this one I've just been... I don't even think I'm halfway done with it, and I've been reading it for the last, uh, you know, for the last, uh, pretty much the whole week. Just a little bit at a time, a couple of chapters. Which is nice, you know, it's, it's kind of chill. You know, you don't have to necessarily boogie now. And I've said before that, like, part of my motivation in, like, uh, taking these books at, like, a... At like a sprint, right? It's just the knowledge that like, oh, you know, when you're early on in the series, especially, and this applies, I think, to any really long piece of media, when you're really like, oh, in a hundred hours, something really cool is going to happen. If that's running through the back of your head, you know, you end up wanting that 100 hours to happen more quickly so you can see that cool thing, you know? Whereas, like, something where, like, oh, everything cool that's gonna happen happens in 12 hours. Something like that, it's much easier to just take your time to, like, chill out a little bit. Just wait and see and be like, okay, well, you know, I just have to... One... Fuck! One thing at a time, we'll, 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 uh, get there, you know? Whereas, like, now, you know, there's not much content left. I guess I am feeling this way a little bit as well about Persona. You know, I have 140 hours in, and I am definitely thinking to myself, by the way, we have five tries left. I am, I am definitely thinking to myself, like, well, goddamn, I don't know if we have enough time to do everything in the time remaining. Oh, if, if only I had, like, another week of in-game time to burn, you know? Some more free time would actually be lovely. And I say that, and it feels kind of silly, considering, like, like you know, how long the game has been, how much free time there has been, and how just, like, you know, if we don't see any every cutscene, you know, that's not super important. In fact, like, at least in Persona 5 base, if you got anywhere near to doing every social link, You'd be doing amazingly, and uh, pretty much we are on pace to do that in Persona 5 Royale now. Except that there is another thing that unlocks in the third semester that also takes time, and uh, turns out that might have might complicate things a little bit, um, which feels weird. But whatever, man. Anyway, taking my time with it. Skin Game is a fantastic book. It's uh, Harry Dresden. He's a wizard. Turned, uh, he, he's a wizard private eye. Fuck! He's a wizard, and he's a private eye. And he has to, uh, by the way, these refresh checkpoints, if you're wondering. If we get to the checkpoint, we will refresh the motherfucker. And uh, he's also, you know, he's a wizard, and he's a private eye, so he has to, like... You know, due to de some hard-boiled detective work, and then uh, usually when he figures out who done it, you know, some sort of supernatural something, he has to uh, kick their ass. You know, he has to beat them in in battle, which is fun. In this game, in Skin Game, I say in this game, in this books, in Skin Game, uh, he has to help the worst foe he ever faced, uh, rob a bank. So it's kind of a a uh, bank robbery book. And also, you know, a lot of tension because, uh, you know, before long, you gotta figure, like, oh yeah, these two, they're both fixing on betraying each other at the first opportunity. And, uh, that's fun. You know, who can you trust? You know, who has the upper hand here? When is the... Are, are they gonna, like, um, you know... Are they gonna, like, uh, throw down? And it's a fun ass book. Damn it! We got three lives left. Let me do another card. Oh, also uh, on Dresden Files, I will say, um, he did a, a a Twitter thing. He said that he finished writing Jim Butcher, the author of Dresden Files. He finished writing his his next book, which is not a Dresden Files book, but something else. 
So, um, it's like, it's like, a Cinder Spires, I think is that series name. But, uh, he's starting work on the next book, which is nice. I guess that'll be next year. That'll be pretty good then. I think when it comes time to reread Dresden Files, I'll probably not reread the whole thing again. <laughs> well, maybe that's obvious because it takes like a goddamn month to do so. But I might reread like the last couple of books. I might reread uh, specifically the last two that I haven't gotten to yet, but that I've read the least number of times. I might reread those two in preparation for 12 months because, uh, you know, this is really unreasonable to spend to spend multiple like a month or two reading books reading a book series I don't know maybe that's just me maybe other people are like oh yeah I'm rereading Higurashi right now it's a hundred hours long longer than the Bible let's go maybe that's Umaneko maybe they're both longer than the Bible anyway I will say also he has the Cinder Spires books. I've never reread those, but uh, when the second book of that is just about to come up, just about to come out, I'll uh, I'll give that another go. I'll look to reread that, basically, as as it makes sense. Anyway, that'll be fun. But uh, I'll you know that'll also be when I have time, so, uh, that'll be, like, the week before that book comes out. I'm not gonna, like, rush into it. I did just read every other Jim Butcher book, but I'm in no hurry to, like, complete the set or, you know, whatever. Fuck off. These guys are bastards. Hell yes. Ah! Ah! Oh, okay. We have the key, and we have three tries left. Let's not get burned on the way. But I reckon we're gonna get that checkpoint. That refreshes our tries up to five. There you go. Well, bam. Anyway, looking forward to those books. Looking forward to finishing the series. You know, like like I said, I might have mentioned before that I've been falling behind on my backlog a bit, and now that I've been like taking it a little bit easy on the Dresden Files. It's been easier to catch up with. It's been able to ca easier to catch up on some of the backlog. Holy fuck! It's one of him. Oh fuck me! It's been easier to catch up on my backlog stuff. Um, since since uh, taking it a little bit slower on this here latest book. Like I said, there's three left, so you know, it might take my time, or I might be done with them by the next stream. Who knows? Do I need all the keys? Not right away. I guess also you can only use one at a time. Perfect. I mean, if that was, like, a missable thing, that'd be weird. Fuck. Three tries left. This part's weirdly difficult. Thank you for the level scuffy. Thank you for the level scuffy. I appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. Scuffy. Fuck! <laughs> Two tries left on this one. I do wonder, you know... It's hard to judge a pair of glasses 
and the new prescription against the old one. Considering that, uh... Fuck! If I get past this part, there's another checkpoint. Okay, cool. We have one try to do it. Considering that, uh... You know, once you get used to wearing a pair of glasses, everything starts to look normal. And it sort of takes you a minute to, like, adjust. Oh my god. I am wondering to myself, like, where did I find it as easy to read the uh, activity feed and the chat from here before the new glasses? Probably. It was always a little bit... I mean, I've always, like, misread names just because I couldn't quite make them out from this distance. That just goes without saying. And, you know, nothing's changed uh, since the new glasses on that front. So, whatever. It's I guess it's a... I guess it's a wash. I did not complete that one, so I'm not going to hit complete, but I am going to hit next. I don't know if lightning round will be a thing before next time. Uh, we've been going for about an hour, so I, I think, yeah, let's get through the levels that are in the queue right now. And then the lightning round will start with your next level highway. Flame. Flame, uh, 69. Flame 69, are you present? Has Flame 69 said anything in a minute? Flame 69, you are up. Let me at Flame 69 real fast. Flame 69, you are up. Beautiful. All right, Flame 69 is up. Let me go ahead and punch in this code. Meanwhile, I'll do another card. Let's talk about what's on it. Switch to the SNES controller. Oh, this is a this is a this is a uh, another thing. Oh, here's a fun anecdote. Also, while I'm doing this, I just I just realized I just remembered this. I uh, the other day I was trying to watch anime in bed and Crunchyroll the app. Like, the app sometimes gets behind on the subtitles all weird, you know, on the phone. So I figured, like, oh, I'll use my Switch instead. The Switch is a big screen, so I can put it in bed and get real close to it. And, you know, I'm nearsighted, so, you know, I, I, I can just take off my glasses and just get real close when I'm in bed and watch it that way. Except when I... Tr when it turns out that... I don't know if it was, like, specific to the episode that I was watching, but the subtitles broke. Midway into uh, the show I was watching, so I was like, okay, I guess maybe that wasn't such a smart idea. And I uh, I forget if I went to the TV to watch or if I uh, used my phone again and just, like, bit the bullet on latency. I forget. The High Dive app on the phone, much more consistent with the, with the thing. Flame69, you are up. Again, if you're not here, we'll do it in Sudden Death. That's fine, too. That is fun. Sudden Death is fun. I like it. I like to do it. So I don't mind. Um, but uh, if you want more than just Sudden Death, go ahead and say so now. I'll also show you this, by the way. I'll show you this. Look at this. I pre-ordered a Bochi the Rock figurine off Animate. Look at this fucking thing. It is, uh... Based on a thing that appeared, a literal 3D object that appeared in Bochi the Rock. Bochi the Rock goes some places, has some weird, like, uh, mixed media in there. Um, that is, like, depressed bo Bochi, uh, just melty Bochi, clay Bochi. And yeah, they're selling a, a version of that that apparently will be available sometime next year. I pre ordered it, and uh, it's gonna ship here so I don't know what happens if I move before if I were to move before then I know that my lease is up like in I think my lease is up at the end of the year so I either have to renew or find a new a new joint so you know guess I if we if I end up moving which you know at this point I'm not even thinking about it 
So, you know, who knows? But but if we're talking you know, we're talking like a year and a half from now, like like over a year from now, I could have well moved by that point. I don't know. It could happen. Maybe not, I don't know. Automatic, don't press any buttons. Well, that actually works perfectly with with uh with 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 uh with with sudden with sudden death. Also, I, 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 last week when, when I got one of these, I did go like, oh man, my eyes need a moment. No, it wasn't last week, it was last Sunday. I did a couple of viewer levels after the... I like what you've done with the boosters and the bounties, by the way. You don't see that many underwater car levels. And by you don't see that many, I mean I don't know that I've seen any before. I guess part of it is that, uh, part of it is that, uh, you know, you can just swim normally if you get out of the car. So, you know, in most cases it doesn't actually make sense to ride when you can swim, you know? That's pretty flashy and cool. I like the ending with the the false the false end. That's nice. Thank you for the love flames. Let's go ahead and hit complete on that. That's very uh, yeah. I'll say like I don't think I've seen that combination of elements ever before. Just like uh, underwater and. And uh, cars before, but I think you get a good job. Even in my, like, in my super world, I did a world uh, that was a racetrack world, and I did a, and basically I did a, and because it's a racetrack world, I had to use the car in some of the levels, right? Well, I figured like, okay, well, the first one. Hey, how's it how's it going, Classfod? Classflod? Thank you for the level. I figured in this one because it was underwater, I didn't need to use the car, but uh, I guess I could have if I wanted to. Whereas this one is a don't touch the ground level, so you actually can't use the cars. Only the enemies can use the cars, which, you know, I'll admit is a cop out a little bit, but also. Get real close, come on. Yeah. The car is not fun to play as, typically. So, so you know, I'm not really, like, in a... That much of a... I'm not really that, like, uh, worried about, like, oh, I need to make use of the car. Have the player, like, actually get in the car and drive around. Because, you know, hey, some things are... Some things are just, uh, losing... Losing plans. By the way, I'll say on my on, on the on the part of my super world. By the way, I love Bem. Bem, you are up. Uh, should I have said that earlier? <laughs> I love Bem. You are up. There we go. On the part of my super world, I have some plans to make some revisions to a couple of my levels. Specifically, I think Unmoored 4, Unmoored 3. I could see a revision on Unmoored 1. Like, just a small, tiny revision, actually. Maybe I could just complete the set, also do Unmoored 2. But I think Unmoored 2 is perfect the way it is, honestly. Um, a little revision on, on Coastal Cup 5. Let's see now. I think... I'm not sure any other levels need any provisions. Oh yeah, there was a there was a soft lock in, in Smokestack Attack, Fear Forge 2. I can fix that. It's more it's a it's not really a big deal. It only happens if the player like blasts a hole in the in the in these in the theming and then crawls into it and and jumps into a place that they shouldn't. But you know what? I would rather the player not be able to blast their way into the scenery. 
and, uh, you know, crawl into a hole and die, so I can fix this. So yeah, I plan on doing all my revisions in one big, one big, uh, cluster when Koopa First 5 is ready to go. And then, uh, the whole kit and caboodle will be uploaded as my new Super World. You know, as I tend to do, I update as I go after all. Bem is here. Let's go ahead and do Bem's level. FFD CSD. I misspelled that. That's a G. SSG. PSG. That's what that says. The Gamer's Nightmare. Oh, it's a very challenging level. That's worrisome. Let's go ahead and put the 15 minutes on the clock. A little drink. Is this a sadistic puzzle? Seems like a mean level. Not that mean, though, I guess. So far, so good. Are you surprised that I'm, that I'm, uh, oh, no. I was about to say getting through cleanly. Were you surprised I got that far in one go? Easy. Not a puzzle, I can see that. Most unusual puzzle. What the fuck? Oh, that is some hellish stuff. You don't want to see any of that. Hey, how about a card? What would y'all make sure to do during a Japan trip? I went to Japan a couple of years ago. Had a good time. And I am thinking now about uh, a return trip, maybe sometime next year. You know, like 2024. Oh, no. First time dying to that fire. And I'll tell you a couple of things that I think I would do that I didn't do last time. And I'll tell you some of the kind of things I did do last time. I did absolutely go go on tours of shrines. That's a that's a big, just a very easy thing you can do. Go look at some shrines in Kyoto. They're very cool, very beautiful. There's there's some some especially famous and especially like scenic ones that draw tons of tourists. Definitely go see all of those. Go see the bamboo forest. Go see all sorts of nice mother nature stuff. Go to Nara, go see the the, the deer that just hang out there. Um, what else? I did a mountain day. Where I went to uh, Mount Takao, which is uh, which is like the uh, most heavily, um, oh, no. it's it's like the most touristy hiking mountain there is. Like the most people hike up this mountain because it's like a really nice mountain that's really close to Tokyo, which is you know one of the biggest population centers in the world. So, most popular mountain in the world, Mount Takao, to climb off, to climb up, and, uh, you know, I took a, a, like, a line up most of the way up the mountain, and, um, you know, walked up the rest of the way, or most of the rest of the way. I was not alone, so, you know, as soon as someone else said, oh, I'm tired, let's, we're not going to the peak, let's turn around. You know, we, we turned around and we didn't go to the peak, but... I would go to Mount Takao again, and I would try to go to, for the peak this time. I'll say that much. You know, it's a beautiful thing to be on top of a mountain. Definitely would have at least one mountain day. Also worth noting, you don't need to dedicate a whole day to the mountain day. A mountain day is maybe more of a mountain morning with like a, uh, with like a onsen afternoon. And then, you know, 
a nag down the town in Tokyo, basically. That's how it was it, for for me when I when we did when we did the uh, the mountain day. Uh, it was it was Mount Takao in the morning, um, onsen in the evening for me at least. Oh, no. You know, soaking hot water, and then go back to Tokyo. Went to the robot restaurant, and you know, mountain and robot restaurant could not be more different. You know, they could not be more different, but still. Good to see. See the robot restaurant. That's another thing you should see that I saw the first time. Also go to, like, you, you, you go to, like, game stores that have, like, you know, weird, weird, cool-looking Japanese games. You know, like Super Potato or whatever. You go to, like, uh... You, you go to, like, anime stores where they have, like, tons of anime figurines. It's always fun to look at all those and go like, oh shit, these are nice. And also like, oh wow, do they have anime figurines for this show? This is so obscure, holy shit. This is, this is, and the build quality is like fantastic, holy shit. Look at this, wow. And the, these stores are everywhere. I saw a news story today about Funko Pop, about something about Funko Pops and, and them shutting down. And that made me just think like, god damn, I would like some of the Japanese figurines to be more prevalent and more common in America because they are fucking nice and they are worth getting. Whereas, like, you look at a Funko Pop and it's just like, what the fuck is that? That's part of why I got that, uh, I ordered that, that, that Bochi the Rock figurine. I was looking at, I was looking at figurines for a second. And I realized, like, oh shit, if they make a version of that scene from Bochi the Rock, I gotta go buy it. And sure enough, they did, so, you know, I had no choice in the matter. Holy shit. Clutch moves. I'll tell you some things I didn't do the first time that I would do on a on a revisit to, to Japan. On another visit. When I uh, went to Japan a couple years ago, I wasn't really that much of a coaster guy. Wasn't that much of a theme park guy. And so there were no theme parks in my trip. Didn't go to Universal Studios Japan or anything. Didn't go to like Disney World or Disneyland Sea, whatever the fuck, whatever they got there. Didn't go to uh, you know, like uh, Fuji Q Highlands, for instance. So I think if ever I did another, another trip, I think two days worth, I would budget two days worth for theme parks. Specifically, uh, Universal Studios Japan, and I would do it after the Donkey Kong area opens. Y you know, I love fucking Donkey Kong, so you know I gotta go to that Donkey Kong area. And I'm also gonna go to the one in Orlando as well, because I go to that one pretty often. Well, I have the last two years, like, every year or two or three. I've been there a couple of times, and, you know, as soon as they have a Donkey Kong area, you know I gotta go there as well. Anyway, we'll do have a Universal Japan Day next time I go to Japan, and we'll have a Fuji Q Highlands Day. From what I can tell, just like looking into it, Fuji Q Highlands kind of sounds like the Cedar Point of Japan. You know, it's sort of like the, the big park with a ton of, like, really ambitious thrill rides for thrill seekers you know and that just sounds really fun it's also in the in like the mount the mount uh, fuji area it has a really nice view of mount fuji from the park so you know it'll be a nice it's a nice area to be and also you know that's another thing i didn't do while i was in japan speaking of things i didn't do in japan i didn't go to the mount fuji area and like get a good I didn't hang out near Mount Fuji at all. I just sort of passed it in the on the bullet train, you know? And I would like to, next time, actually, like, stay in the, uh, in the area, at least briefly. At least briefly. And, you know, I'll get, like, a... I'll, I'll hang out... Treadmills. I'll, 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 I'll visit an onsen. I'll see some nice scenic places to look at Mount Mount Fuji and then also I'll go to the theme park and just uh 
you know, ride as many of the rides as I can in one day. Obviously, I don't think I can budget more than one day for theme parks. More than two days for theme parks. Any more that I can budget, like, more than one or two days for mountains. Though, you know, hey, maybe... Okay, now we got it. Ooh. Now, what in the hell is, is this? Can you jump it? Yes. Now, obviously, theme parks are a little different from, like, a, Nara, a day at Nara. Oh, no. Fuck. A day at Nara, or like a, or, or like a, a mountain day, right? In that, like, oh, you probably can't do it all in a, a afternoon, right? Like, it's probably not like, when, when you go to Nara, right? You go there and you see, like, holy shit, there's, like, tons and tons of wild deer here that are really nice and chill, and, you know, you can give them treats, and they'll eat it out of your hand, and it's really fucking... It's really fucking nice. It's really fucking cool. I think that, uh... Conversely, a theme park is such that you want to spend the whole day here, there, like, from start to finish, with maybe, like... You basically want to spend, like, the whole day there. And, and s see as many of the rides as you can. Now, I think Universal Studios Japan is like relatively, it's bigger than, than Universal Studios Hollywood and has like a bunch of roller coasters that Hollywood does not have, but it's not as big as as the Orlando, you know, para park. So I think it might be possible that I might be able to do everything and everything in one day. I guess also I should probably like Check and see, like, what are the major attractions I want to hit when I go there. Like, do I want to go on... I'll, I'll, I'll say this, you know what? Just thinking about Universal Studios Japan real fast. Obviously, any roller coaster that's original, that's the highest priority, right? Any original roller coaster, like, I believe they have one called the Flying Dinosaur. That's like a, um... That's like a flying ride, you know, it's like, uh, it, it's one of those rides where you lay down, like, and, and like, uh, horizontally to ride it. That one's definitely on my list. They have like a, they have like a, uh, one ride where you can ride it forwards or backwards in its entirety. And that sounds kind of cool, and I definitely want to ride both versions of that. Um, uh, they have a Spider-Man. They, they have a lot of rides that are just at the regular ass Universal. Those ones are less important. What the fuck? I thought I had to go here. Those ones are a lot less important to me. But, uh, you know, whatever. Maybe, maybe it'd be fun to ride. I don't know. Um... And I, I, it's, it's possible also some of them are different from the American version. I guess like the one, I'll say this. I could see going on like, like I'm sure like the the Universal Park, like Universal, the hell? Like Universal Orlando, they have like a lot of the same rides, you know, from park to park. So, like, you can find, um... Oh, no. That was pretty far into the level. Oh, no. You can find, like, a Harry Potter... The Harry Potter, like, uh... Hogwarts ride there. You can find, like, uh, Spider-Man there. I'm sure there's several others as well that I'm not thinking of off the top of my head that are also there at Universal Studios Japan, but, you know, maybe these would be lower on my list if I only have a day, and also I've already ridden the original versions. Also, you know, I wouldn't necessarily be able to understand, like, the, uh, 
the characters talking on 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 the characters talking, you know. Well, uh, if I if I were to go to Universal Studios Japan. Anyway, that about sums up where I would want to go. I like major places anywhere. There's all sorts of minor places you can go, like weird museums, um, shopping centers, um, really tall buildings, animates. There's there's like anim like manga stores called animates that are really nice and cool and fun. I want to go to many a Don Quixote, which are like a Don Quixote, by the way, for those who don't know Japan, who have never been. A Don Quixote is sort of like a convenience store version of a Costco. It's just like a really densely, a really dense store that is just like five stories tall and uh, just, just jam packed with everything you could possibly think of. The timer is up. Okay, let's get that those five last tries left up You know the way that you phrase that We got five last tries to beat the level Every death is a death every try is a try You know how it is Let's try to finish it Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I'm fine. Thought I was uh, well fucked there, but oh, no. I'm fine. Wah. Oh, no. Jeez. Is uh, highways the next up? I said that highways would be the first in the lightning round. Alright, whatever. That's enough talk about uh, what I would do in Japan, what I would want to do. I'm sure if I thought more heavily, I could come up with more things like, you know, when I was in Osaka last, I went to an aquarium in Osaka. And it was pretty nice and chill and cool. I'm sure I could also, like, go to, like, a zoo in Japan. Maybe that'd be fun. I went to, like, a, a like, a garden in Japan. You know, like, a botanical garden. It was, like, full of, like, elaborate landscaping and beautiful trees. And, man, you could just take a ton of pictures there. That's another place. You know, I would definitely take in the I would definitely like go back to and do there's like a Gundam store I would go see that again there's a lot of places in Japan turns out Tokyo especially and uh, yeah also you know I didn't even mention food a lot of places to eat in Japan they're pretty sick thank you for the level I love them that level is a motherfucker huh let me go ahead and hit next and see who's uh that one that one's really hard. I, I don't mean motherfucker in a bad way. It's uh Scuffy who's next. Good tries. Thank you, thank you. And I think this one will be the last one outside of the lightning round. After this one, we'll be going to the lightning round. Uh Scuffy is here, by the way. Let me do another card. Been playing Marvel Snap. Just got, uh, that was an unclear 2019 level with an eight minute clear check time. Jesus, I didn't notice that it was that, that it was that long. Holy shit. Maybe there's some tricks that make it even harder than it looks because it doesn't look that undoable. I feel like we got pretty far, but also every time I died, I died a little inside. Been playing Marvel Snap as I do. Um... I got Negasonic pinned. I just I had I had Galactus pinned, which is like a rare card that'll never get less rare. And I decided to unpin him and pin Negasonic, which is a really really new card. Okay, cool. There's uh there's two checkpoints. 
just came out this uh, Negasonic card. And basically what Negasonic does is it destroys the next card that is played at the certain location, the location you play it at, as well as itself is a three cost card that destroys itself and the next card that's played at that location. And uh, since I have a destroy deck that, uh, you know, intentionally wants to destroy its own cards for like, say, you know, Nimrod, for instance, is a card that when destroyed copies itself to two other locations, the other locations in Marvel Snap. So if I could play Negasonic and then play Nimrod on th on five, then I am in fucking business. I am I'm getting like an extra an extra proc of those guys. You know, and that feels really sick. I'm pre-gaming a destroy. Or, you know, honestly, it, Negasonic seems really useful. It's just like a control piece. Just something you can put on a location and, you know, the enemy will just have no way of, like, getting onto that location without sacrificing one of their own cards. Which is also fun. Um, let me show my, uh... Here's that deck, by the way, my Destroy Everything deck, if you're curious. Um, I will say right now, I'm sort of considering dropping Sabretooth for I don't know what. But basically, the, the idea, the game plan here is to, is to play Shuri on 4, Nimrod on uh, 5, and, um, and then destroy things with two of the destroy cards, like Venom and Deathlock, on uh, 6. And if I have... Um, and also, by the way, Absorbing Man can serve as one of the destroy cards... If I either have Carnage or if I have uh, Zabu with uh, Zabu in play at that point, then I can use him with Venom and uh, I can use him with Deathlock. It's a very good play to play Venom and then Absorbing Man on when you have like uh, Shuri Nimrods in play. Anyway, yeah, I think that uh, once I get Negasonic, she's going to be a great addition to this deck. I could also. I feel like I'm missing like a couple of pieces. But I'm sure they'll come in time. Maybe I'll think of like some good substitutions. I'm thinking about taking out the Wong since the Wong is only there to combo with the Shuri, potentially, provided that I can cheat out the Wong on turn three and then do Shuri on turn four. But I'm thinking that's such a fringe case; it's not really worth it. So I'm thinking about uh, doing something else, but really not sure like what card would be good. Let's play this level. Ah. I hope that I can get enough tokens to get that thing. Oh wow, that looks... Thing. This said sort and sweet though. Oh, okay, cool. It's only 11 seconds long, so that's nice. At least the world record is. We gotta get more speed. Really loving Marvel Snap. I will say though, it is true that the card acquisition, once you finish series three, it slows down so much, like you wouldn't believe. Like you go from like getting a couple of cards a week to getting just like one card every, uh, maybe like every week and a half, if you're lucky. With, with sometimes, you know, when a series drop happens, you'll get a bunch of them all at once. And then if you get lucky along the way, if you earn enough tokens, you'll get another one. And maybe, you know, eventually also you'll get lucky, but... Yeah, it's just a lot more uh, slow-paced. And it's a lot more just like, yeah, I have my decks that I like, and I play them. I will say I'm not get I haven't gotten, like... A ton of use out of the Thanos, but that's a lot of that is because I I, I I got Thanos and then was like, I don't really want to just play the traditional Thanos deck. I want to play something that's like original to me. I want to play something that's that's all mine. And as a result, the decks that I've been playing with Thanos have been uh, suboptimal, to put it lightly. But say uh, you know, hopefully I'm sh I'm sure in time I'll come up with a good use for Thanos. I'll say like my my hope 
my hope with, uh, with Thanos was that he would be, like, the best version of Zoo. And that, unfortunately, really hasn't been the case. His, he's not really, like, the best version of Zoo that there is. You know, of, like, uh, a deck that spawns a bunch of small dudes. Hello, Tanner Andrews. How you doing? I, th I, th I totally thought that Thanos, that the whole idea of him was like, yeah, he's like Zoo. You do like a Zoo deck with him, but no. It's all about that, uh... It's all about those, uh... Lockjaws. I'll tell you my favorite deck for Lockjaw. One that I really like and I don't see many people playing. Or, I say many, any people playing. It's just a deck with all threes. Happy Friday to you too. Happy Friday to everyone. My 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 Lockjaw deck is just a deck with all threes, and uh, basically as a result, you know, if I play Lockjaw and then I play Silver Surfer, then I'm able to play a third thing if I have Sarah in play. Um, I can play Silver. I can get Silver Surfer, proc multiple times, and for other cards with good with good on reveal effects to uh, also reveal multiple times, and it's pretty cool. Hey, I want another card. Do y'all hear Church's Chicken has a new name? Y'all hear about this shit? Church's Chicken. Apparently it's called Church's Texas, Texas Chicken now. Kind of feels pathetic to me, you know? Kind of feels like it's chasing KFC. You know, like, oh, Kentucky. That's the reason why you guys are doing well and we're no not. Because people think, oh, state in the south. Naturally, okay. I can trust this. I don't think it's really that simple to just put Texas in your name and get like a ton more sales. That's just not how that's just not how it works. Church's Texas chicken. But I will say I did go there the other day and it is damn good chicken still. I really love a church chicken. Used to be there was one that was real near near where I am now, but uh, now the closest one is pretty far away, unfortunately. So, you know, I don't go there all that often. But when I do, good chicken. Maybe need a running start there. Another card. Did you hear about Tex Heaven 3000? This was on Steam. I say was on Steam for a reason. Uh, it was on Steam, and um, it was it was like well not out yet, but it would would have been. It was like wish list on Steam. Anyway, basically the idea was it's a visual novel style game where uh, an anime girl uh, does your taxes with you. And it's done as like a rom-com type thing, you know, it's like a like a dating novel and it's kind of funny And I'll tell you like I saw that and it's like oh, that's pretty cool I, I would do that and then people started saying the what in retrospect is kind of obvious like hey Should you be trusting just a random? Application with your social security number and the answer is oh probably not right? Oh but also, you know legitimately Honestly, I might trust these guys more than I trust, like, TurboTax, who sucks. And I trust TurboTax with a lot already. Anyway, you know, it, it is it is funny. You know, I, I saw some jokes, people talking about referencing the Wallet Inspector. The Wallet Inspector Simulator. Calling this, like, Wallet Inspector Simulator, which... It, Kind of literally is. What am I doing? This is the same level. One second, let me hit complete. I'm tired, man. Not in a way that's like, I'm, I'm like, getting all stop talky. But in a way that is definitely where I forgot to hit next for a second. Highway Lighthouse is up next, and you know what that means. That means it's time for this. It's time for the lightning round, folks. Is it okay to add a number? Absolutely. We're in the lightning round, folks. Let me tell you what happens in the lightning round. During the lightning round, I only have five tries to beat each level. 
refreshing at checkpoints. Five tries refreshing at checkpoints. And uh, seven for subs and also seven for the first level of the night. Which in this case is highway. And uh, by the way, the same rules apply as before if you're here when when you're when you're here if you're if you're here you get the lightning round if you're not you get sudden death and you only get two tries in sudden death that's how it is let's see what the bonus heads look like they look like this and they come in a variety of uh in a variety of shapes and a variety of like combinations like here you have some mario heads there's some non mario ones the non mario ones are rare like you see there there's homer and marge some of those ones I made for other streams with limited life uh, gimmicks. And uh, after those streams, they became bonus heads. Like, that's how we got the Sonic ones, the Donkey Kong ones. Actually, every set of bonus heads was originally in their own stream before they became just uh, part of the... Part of the... I say the bonus... I mean the ones that aren't Mario. The cameo heads. I don't have a term for them. I don't have a term for the for the non Mario heads other than non Mario heads, and that's that's a little ambiguous because I mean non Mario franchise where it could also w Waluigi is not Mario, so that also could apply. Highway just it was telling me about the how the description tells us everything we need to know. And also, general logic. Alright, cool. So yeah, feel free to get in more levels until the queue closes. At which point, we'll, we'll wrap up everything that's in the queue. And that'll be that. If you want to know, like, when that'll be... You know, I, I still got more cards where, where, where these came from. And uh, I usually like to go through them. I usually like to go through them and that by the time I do so, it'll probably be like two or three hours into the stream, at which point it makes sense to wrap down, wrap down, to wind down. I'm tired, I'm saying things weird. To wind down and uh, get us done. And also, by the way, because of, you, you know, another cool thing about the lightning round, because of the lightning round, I've never ended a stream with uh, levels in the queue. Always able to get through them because uh, you know it's lightning round, baby. We could just we could just jam through them, and if we if they're really hard, you know we they're 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 if we're really hard, we only get that many tries with it, and uh, you know it really keeps things moving. I feel like <laughs> this is a little not all of those things made sense when I came out of my mouth, but again. I am a little bit sleepy. I hope to be a little less sleepy by Monday. I will I will I will do my due diligence. I will sleep in tomorrow. I will uh I I will try to stay up to a normal time. Wait a minute. I didn't read the thing. Let me look at the thing. Express elevators to Fish elevator to floors one through three or direct to floor one. Not for the faint of heart. Not sure I understand, but let's go. By the way, Highway, what happened to that? Last week, we suggested, I, I, I gave you some ideas as far as like, um, as far as like stages go. Did you end up finishing those? Like, uh, the P switch? Oh, wait, is this the P switch one? I guess there is a P switch right there. You never finished uploading the P-Switch one. Gotcha. Got to the final segment and lost? Dang. I, I guess... I guess your levels are hard, huh? That... that makes sense. Well, I look forward to seeing it in, uh... some time. Okay. okay. Alright. Okay, so there's an on-off here. I guess this is the first floor. Bruh, 
right, we're going after coins. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, we can't ground pound on that guy. That's not gonna work. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go through here. Bad luck on that uh, clear attempt, but I'm sure you'll get it in time. Okay, so there's a second level here, and here's the elevator. Not sure I understand the logic of the level yet, besides just do everything that seems logical. But we're going to do everything that seems logical and, uh, you know, hope for the best. This is an exit. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Down here. Up here. Oh, uh, what? Well, whatever. How about another card? Looking forward to Tears of the Kingdom. Is it weird they haven't showed off, shown off much? I do wonder this. It's been been uh, a while since they showed off very much. You know, there's not like any in-depth trailers or anything right now uh, out there to watch. Well, up here on the upper right. I'm very curious what they're doing with that. I'm like a little bit concerned about like, uh, oh, you know, I really want to see something. Where is it? Why wouldn't they just show off a bunch of it? But it's not a big deal. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, that game is, uh, that game is coming up. On off. There's a key switch here. Ah. Eyes are all watery and shit. Okay, so to get to three... We need to activate the elevator. Okay. I'm now confused. Where were we when we got the last thing? I don't remember. Ugh. Wait a minute, we can now... No, we can't. That's not how it works. We need to get over there. We'll get through there if the on-offs are the other way. Can we do that? No. Let's do it. Let me do another card. I'm getting all tired and sleepy. Do y'all keep active? I don't keep active enough. Really need to walk more. Kind of all I wanted to say about that. I wish I did find more time for like walking outside, but you know, as hobbies go, as like exercise goes, 
It's pretty time con uh, time demanding. It's pretty demanding on the the old the old pocket watch. What the fuck? Not an expression. Okay, here's where we were earlier. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. This. Elevator. Hey. Ah. Okay, that turns the on off on off. Unless you go back. That in turn, unless you go over here. No! Oh. Okay, let's go. Also, wait, we could have came back the way that we came. Could have just went back through the door that we opened. I didn't realize that. I bet you there's gonna be a spike ball out of that, and that's gonna open a hole in the floor. You know, this, the pipe. Shit, we have 100 seconds left. No good. Oh, no. We died. Wait, was that the first try? Or did I forget a... I thought we... Maybe we return to the start. I thought I, I remember doing this part twice. That would be only possible if I died. I think we might be one. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna call it. I think we were one, one, one life off there. We may have died early on and then I forgot to do the thing. Forgot to count it. Okay. Okay. You know what? Wakes you up a little bit, I guess. Whatever. God. Whatever. Let's do it. Let's go. More up here, etc. Yeah, I'm sort of flagging here, y'all. Hope y'all understand. You know how it is when you flag. Another thing. Follow up on Silver Dollar City plans and what they mean for summer. I mentioned before I'm planning on going to Silver Dollar City this summer, sometime in like mid July. And uh That'll probably be my vacation for this summer, going there. Now, last year, didn't take a huge vac- Well, actually, I did take a rather, like, significant vacation during, like, the summer. But, uh, I also took some time off to just hang out around, hang out and do some regular streams. I'm still thinking that might happen this year as well. Maybe I would do both. Maybe I'll do like a like a vacation where I just hang out at home and mostly do a bunch of like streams on uh, you know various days and occasions. Whatever streams that make sense, and um, you know might be more of a trip that has more traveling in it. I don't know. 
I usually do take off these days, two days, two weeks off during the summer, so you know, it makes sense to do one travel type thing and one more just uh, hanging out, doing some streams type thing. This is long level. I don't know how you did it within the time limit, you know? Must be tight. In fact, world record is seven minutes. Jeez. Dancing from Tanner Andrews. Appreciate that. Uh, let's let's continue doing it. Anyway, we'll see what happens with that. I'm looking forward to the trip. Whatever happens with like stream content during that time, we'll see. But I definitely want to uh, do like. I wouldn't mind doing like another period of like a bunch of streams, either daily or sub daily or whatever. I, I will say like I do like uh, doing fewer, fewer longer streams versus doing like a couple of big ones. But a couple of big ones aren't bad either. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. That is far enough away where I. I don't think I really have to worry, honestly. Where the fuck does this door lead? To a coin. It's hard to try to close your eyes and navigate a room. I mean, that's not how rooms work. You have to see them to navigate around them. Mostly. He door will lead to that thing. Oh god, I hope these coins are like optional or something. Oh, that would be really nice. Okay, that just opened away. About 60. We're most of the way there. As far as coins are concerned. Alright, some sort of boss fight? What? Alright. Now what? Okay, so we need to carve a path. Alright. Almost sounds like there's a boss going on, but I know better. There's no boss. Most of them left. Oh, I have no idea where I'm going. Also, by the way, a timeout counts for five lives if you're curious, so, you know, this one will be the last. If we were to time out anyway. Oh. 
which looks like we're not gonna die by by those guys again at least. I feel like I might be missing some red coins. Oh. What's through here? Oh fuck, it's where we came from. I, I I don't know where I'm going. And I'm certainly not gonna get it in the next 30 seconds. I am in the mood to wrap down. I know it's only two hours into the stream, but I think after this level, I will close the queue after this level. And we'll get through the last of the levels that are in here. Does that sound good? Well, I hope it sounds good because that's what we're doing. If we were to come through here, could we come through here? You know what? If we didn't... Oh, no. If we didn't... Wait. Could have done some stuff over there that we didn't do. I think I figured it out. Man, I don't think I did. And yes, that counts for all of our tries. Direct loot to 401 can be entered with either block. I guess. It, it's all a little bit, uh, I, I, it's, it's hard to get, you know? All right, uh, I'm going to give y'all Next up will be um, Class Flawed, who does not appear to be here. Class Flawed, you are up. Um, I am going to say Last Call. Last Call for levels. Um, get them in if you want to get them in today. Though, if, if you're cool just watching, that's fun too. And I am <laughs> rather tired, so, you know... Whatever. Uh, let me do another card. Did you hear about Twitter ending verification finally once and for all for real this time? Yeah, so Twitter verification is finally ending and you'll have to pay either a Twitter blue account for for eight dollars a month or whatever it is or uh, if you're a business like a thousand dollars a year um, or else you don't get verified which uh that's an idea. Let's see how well it works out for them. I don't know about Twitter, man. You see, I'll say like the news on the Twitter front has slowed down a good deal. But also, I'm not reading Twitter anymore. So, you know, if there is like Twitter news percolating around Twitter, I don't see it anymore. This is, by the way, I mentioned before a level that I did that where the uh, the Koopalings were like embedded into the, into the floor. This is that level. You can see I go left and right, I collect coins. Sort of like a green banana bonus. A green banana bonus was like the main ins inspiration here. Also, it's 20 seconds. Anyway, I'll, I'll say I'm, I'm not sure like if, if like it's worth posting things to Twitter anymore. Like if, I, I don't know if like anyone see, uses the, the stream alerts that I post there. If it's worth posting them there at all, honestly, maybe I sh I I already post them to the Discord, and if you're if you're looking for for alerts on streams, my Discord is the place to get it. Cool level, I know, right? My my le my my Discord is the place to get them. Uh, we'll do one more here. We'll do randomly Pirates Peak Four Bitter Boatyard, and then we'll we'll close the queue. And, uh, you know, finish the ones in there. Maybe I should stop tweeting the 
the levels to the to the thing. I will say I won't stop like sharing the levels themselves. Like whenever I have new levels, I will post them there because I don't know. It's just tradition at this point, I guess. But maybe streams themselves don't need to be shared anywhere but various discords. Or, you know, if you have Twitch alerts, I guess that could also notify you. I don't know that anyone actually uses... actually uses Twitter to get alerts for streams. You know, I know people post their streams, their stream alerts on Twitter. But honestly, I kind of doubt the efficacy of it. If I'm being honest. Whatever, Twitter seems like a trash fire. Though, maybe less of an active trash fire these days. So in this part, first part of the level, you'd go through the mountains, and then you dig down and you end up in the hangar that is, like, located inside the mountain. You know. Buried. And also now there's a bunch of ceiling blocks that you can break up for fun, you know? You know, I, I, I sort of picture you this level as... You're like a bull in a china shop here. You know what I mean? You're just an agent of chaos. And you have to, you know, if you're big, you have to deal with that. And I think that that's fun. I have heard that some people, they avoid getting big in this level. And I think that that's just, uh, that's just a shame. It's fun to be big and just, like, break things left and right. It's designed to be for you to be big. You know? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close the queue then. Thank you all for getting your levels in. We got uh, three more left. First one being Class Floyd, who uh, does not appear to be here. Let me close the queue now. I'll change the uh, heads up, the HUD. Let me add Class Floyd here, just to tell them that you are up. Class... Class Flawed. Yeah, it's definitely Class Flawed. You are up! If you're not here, we'll do it in sudden death, you know how it is. I'm gonna do another card as I, uh... As I, uh, enter the thing in. Did you see that CMA backed off uh, Microsoft regarding Activision. Yeah, so there was a bunch of Activision. So, so like, uh, CMA apparently is like some European regulatory body. And uh, they decided that, uh, oh, uh, Call of Duty does not constitute, like, uh, they're, they're probably not going to play hardball Call, Call of Duty because it would cost them too much money to do so. So it's probably cool to let them have it. And with that, there's... A lot less opposition to the Microsoft sale. It's kind of I I I I don't know like all the details, but from what I saw, people were, were looking at that saying like, "Oh, that kind of makes it look like the Microsoft sale is going to go through. Activision will be purchased. That's happening." Five tries on the board. Let's go. What are we doing? Are we racing? I think we're racing. Oh, hey, this is kind of cool. This is honestly not that much of a race. More of a... It, it's more... It's a lot less uh, demanding than maybe I expected. You know, I kind of expected this to be a very hard race, but it's actually... It, it, it's pleasantly... Uh, easy. Actually. Huh. That's kind of a nice, light surprise. Thanks. Oh yeah, Jesus, that's a good one. Class Floyd. Oh shit, I forgot. You know what, this was... This was uh, sudden death this whole time, by the way, but also I didn't die, so... It's all good. It's all good. Thank you, Class Floyd, for the level. That was, uh, that was a fun one. I think it's really well put together. Next up is Tanner Andrews, who just did a GG. Very good. 
who just did a little fella waving arms. Very nice. I'm gonna need another card. Still have a couple of them left. Um, concerning some some backlog stuff. I I finished watching the Blight Club episodes I missed. Those are that's a series over on giantbomb.com. Since I was I was reading audiobooks for a while, you know, sort of like just focusing on that. I stopped listening to podcasts and um and and, and watching some some videos of sites that I like and and got super behind and I cut off on Blight Club, you know, finished off Bubsy. We'll finish off all the Bubsy episodes and also finished off the second run of uh, episodes where they were playing uh, Blight Club, by the way, it's a feature over on GiantBomb.com where they play bad games like uh, Bubsy 3D or uh, or um, Sonic 06. And they just finished the second the second campaign of Sonic 06, which was uh, was it was quite hell. It was quite hellish. And, uh, you know, it was fun to watch them and, uh, you know, quite a bit. I'll also say on that note, I need to watch a lot of backlog anime. Since I've been reading the audiobook and since I've had a lot of, of simulcast anime this season, I haven't uh, been making a ton of progress on those ones, but I've nearly finished with rewatching Slow Start and Orange. Uh, I really like Slow Start. I kind of soured on Orange on a rewatch, actually. And I got a lot left on Fire Force, uh, which I'm rewatching. Uh, Rent a Girlfriend, which I'm watching for the first time. And quite a few more that I've, you know, backlog shows that I've started and never actually finished over the course of like months or years. Um, which, you know, obviously it's probably, it probably feels best if you watch a show and you watch it and you finish it within like a month or so. If you watch a show that's like 12 episodes long or 24 episodes long and it takes you like three years, that that's not exactly the, the best pacing now, is it? Let's go. Let's do it. I got like one or two more cards left so I can get through them uh, this stream. Ah! There was a guy that came up behind me. I need a spin jump, don't I? No, that's not it at all. I need to do a... the other way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. 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 Ah! What? What? Shell! What? Ah! Oh! This level was number one in, in Super Expert. We nearly... How long is it, by the way? Uh, 20 seconds. Okay, cool. I... 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 I wonder if I could have cheesed if I like zipping down the side. Dang, that was uh, that 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 fourth try was really fucking good. It was 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 really fucking. I feel like we almost had it, but I I choked on the part where there was a shell, and I had to get the sh I had to like land on the shell and do the thing. We'll get it next time. Tanner Andrews, I would love to see it uh, next time. Next time I'm doing this. You know how it is, lightning round. I'm gonna hit next and we're gonna see who's the final level of the night. That would be uh, Scuffy. Scuffy is the final one here. So I got, I got uh, like two more cards here. So I'm just gonna roll through them real fast. Need to do more backlogged reviews. Speaking of things I'm really backed up on, backlogged reviews. Basically, uh, about a year ago, I started moving my collection list over from Giant Bomb over to backlog. And uh, during that process, I realized like a lot of the older older reviews were pretty outdated, pretty much like not stylistically what I would like. So I started rewriting them, and uh, 
You know, I've basically like rewritten all of them up to like 2017. And, uh, you know, I got like six years now to get through and <laughs> I need to get on that. I need to like keep up the pace. I need to like probably do a couple of them a day. Before the stream, I actually did uh, get out two of them. And, uh, you know, now I got to uh, get, uh, get out two of them. And, you know, if I can just get, do five a day or something, or like a couple a day, I'm sure I'll be up to present in no time at all. You know, like before I know it. I mean, I somehow did in the first month or two or three of doing those backlogged reviews. I did like 600 of them and got up to 2017, so it can't be that hard. Also, I am thinking about all the podcasts in my backlog. Once I'm done with audiobooks, I have so many podcasts to uh, listen to. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Wait, were those shell jumps? Did it say shells? I'm not good at those, but I'll give it my best. I got so many fucking podcasts to catch up like up, look, catch up on right now. Like, holy shit, y'all. Problem is, like, while I was reading that... I can't just, like, jump on them, can I? Yeah, that's not gonna do it. I have to get, like, really close. Yeah, this is gonna be... I don't know about this one. But let's, let's try. While I was rereading Dresden Files and Codex Alira, I sort of, um... Fuck yes. I sort of started neglecting... the, uh... I sort of started neglecting all my podcasts, and... as a result, I now have, like, a month or two of, like, every podcast that I listen to. Not just the ones that I'm like, you know, like, oh, I'm not really feeling this one that much. Like, literally my favorite podcasts in the world, I haven't listened to them in, like, two months. And I'm um, kind of dreading having that, having to go through that, you know? Like, oh, jeez. Nice, that refreshes our thing. We're now back up to five. I say dreading. It's more just like... It's a fucking lot to get through. And I'm sort of looking at that going like, holy shit. I've, I've, I've made a lot of work for myself here. But then again, you know, I've been reading 12 hour audiobooks. I'm sure like four hour podcasts, even if there's a lot of them, th two, three hour podcasts, even if there's a lot of them, I'm sure I can get through, through them in not too much time if I just, like, put them on and then... Fuck. That was pretty good, too. If I just put them on and just let them roll, you know? Yeah, that was fucking close. If I just let them roll and just, you know, watch them, listen to them in the background or some such, or as a podcast game, or podcast game, as a podcast to listen to while I play a video game. I'm sure before I know it, I'll be podcast zero again, you know. And I'm sure there's some fucking good episodes in there that I've missed while I was, uh, you know, busy reading audiobooks. My current plan, by the way, is not to... I know I jumped on, like, the, uh, the bat... The, the giant bomb stuff recently, but I'm gonna say... I think I'm gonna say, like, most of the podcast until I am done rereading Dresden Files. But, you know, I also know that... That's gonna be hard. Thank you, Scruff... Scuffy. We're able to get through it, even though the shell jumps were there. And, uh, we're kind of scary. After I fell into that pit that first time, I was awful scared. Um, I don't know. Some of the, I, I was kind of feeling... I'll tell y'all. I was kind of feeling a little bit tired there. But, uh, through some of those last levels, I, uh... 
feel like I've almost got a second wind here. Let me do... I'm gonna do one more thing here, which is to play this, uh... The beta version here of, um... My next level one more time for y'all. And we'll play it start to finish in uh, one go. I want to see if I can beat the boss first try. <laughs> Again, by the way, if I didn't mention it this stream, but the, one of the inspirations for this boss fight is uh, specifically the Baron K. Rulenstein fight from DKC3. Very specific touchstone there. You know, that fight is also built around like, oh, well, you know, you go under and then you go over and then you go under again and you're basically going left and right and left and right until it's time to, you know, until the end of the fight. So here, the new opening there on the, the blue plat there really helps out to, you know, make this a lot more playable than it was the earlier version. Let's go, let's kill him in one. I'm still not sure about the mushroom. I've tried several locations for it. And you know, I don't think I could find a place that's out of the way such that, you know, you don't accidentally collect it sometimes, but maybe that's fun. Maybe having that challenge of being like, oh shit, gotta avoid the mushroom too. Maybe that's a fun little challenge for the player. It does sort of mean that you don't end up jumping to the middle platform quite so much. You do a lot more like, uh... A lot more like going from one vine to the next. Whoa, oh, jeez! That worked out. And a lot less going under as well. Wonder if there are ways to make going under more appealing. But the problem with that is that going under is, uh... He's usually on the ground, so you don't usually get the opportunity all that often. And now, of course, you can just do this to retry if you want. Retry this uh, escape sequence. This whole underground area, this whole under lava area is always there. But uh, since you don't get there that fast off a of checkpoint, um, it's, it, you have to... Yeah, it's a cool boss fight. I know, right? This being like the penultimate, the, the, the World 7... You know, first K. Rule type fight of the Super World. I want it to be big and 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 meaty and impactful. And I, I really let me switch controllers so I can actually like navigate around. I can't actually do making on the SNES controller because you can't drag Mario around without uh, a, a stick. You know. And I really like here that there's a literal mid-boss uh, checkpoint here where uh, if, when you respawn from the checkpoint, another Bowser drops down. It's very seamless and a uh, really nice little illusion. Also, there's another Bowser here who is just here to be the thumbnail. To be in the thumbnail, which I think is fun as well. I'll see if, you know, maybe this weekend, maybe sometime soon... I'll get the actual first part of this level built. The part where it's a level. Usually when I do boss levels, they're just boss levels. DKC style, but... This time I want to do a level that is like half level and half boss fight. More similar to Mario. More similar to how Mario does. And I think that would be, uh... That would be good. All right, uh, I'm gonna go back to title. I'll tell you what's up now. We are, uh, oh, let me hit next so that the queue is, is out of here. Also, I forgot to change the the UI to be the, to the minimized UI. Folks, thanks for coming by, for giving me your levels. I was a little tired in the middle part of that. In like the mid to late part, but I feel like I uh, had like a second wind by the end. Honestly, I might stay up even though I was like really, really like feeling it. I might stay up. I might watch some other streams. I might 
There might even be a watch party or something that I watch tonight, like really late. And I'll probably be feeling that tomorrow. Or I might go to sleep in like an hour or two at like something that is approaching a normal time. What I really want to do with my sleep schedule right now is push it out a little bit by a little bit until I'm going to sleep around midnight or 2 a.m. or so and getting up around 8. That is what I'm aiming for and I'm slowly inching my way now. And uh, as a result, by the way, the Monday stream might be at more like 6 p.m. rather than 8 p.m. I'll say on the Discord if that's going to be the case, but just to let y'all know, if you're looking for Persona 5, that's when it will be. And um, I also do stream more streams on Fridays. If you're looking for more Mario Maker, that'll be next Friday, around the same time as this stream. Let me see who is streaming, who I can do a raid on. And, um... Dan in... Ooh, Voidburger. I haven't seen Voidburger streaming in some time. Ultra Mentality is doing a stream. I haven't seen her streaming in, in, in some time either. Let's do Alter Mentality. It's been a while. She's playing Mega Man Legends. That sounds interesting. That's like a 3D Mega Man, right? That's that's a weird thing. I kind of want to see what's up with that. Um, Alter Mentality. All right, cool. Thank you all for coming by, for giving me your levels, for hanging out. This has been Friday evening viewer levels. I'll see y'all on Monday with uh, more Persona 5. Um, doing uh, a lot of the third semester stuff now. It's pretty exciting and I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, we're nearing the end of that game and oh, it's been a long road. Um, it might be more around 6 p.m. next time, like I said. Um, and if you're looking for more Mario Maker, that'll be on, that'll be on next Friday in a week's time, you know? I'll see you then. Y'all have a good weekend. Bye, folks.